Hi, welcome to Mary She Songwriters. I'm your host, Terry Whalen. Uh, if you've watched this show in the past, you obviously realize this is not normal. Well, we're not in normal times right now. We're all dealing with this COVID-19 virus that's uh, making its way through the world. And it's a pretty scary sp spot. Uh, but I think as musicians, and I, I just want to introduce my two guests uh, here with me today, uh, from St. John, Mike Bigger here. Mike, welcome. Hey, thank and you very also, much. Also, also from St. John, Ian McDonald, welcome and thanks for being here. Uh, so what, what we're doing is we want to try and keep things as normal as possible. And as musicians, one of the things that helps us stay normal is playing music. And uh, we thought we'd use this opportunity to uh, remotely get together and see if we can make this program uh, work very similar to the way it worked works on the regular episodes. So I want to thank these guys for being here. Uh, before we get started, uh, just quickly, maybe you could just tell us, uh, each of you, uh, start with you, Mike, uh, how this, uh, this, our new way of life has affected you as far as the musician. Yeah, well, thanks for having me on, man. It's really nice to be back on Miramichi Songwriters. Uh, well, it's it's like you say, man. It's uh, it's an unparalleled situation we're in, and I mean, I'm like one of many, many people, uh, really, in not just in the area of music, but all kinds of small businesses that are affected and effectively shut down because uh, basically people can't, you know, conduct business the way we've been used to. And in my world, as a full-time uh, touring artist, you know, all the all the income, all the gigs, the shows, the touring that I have lined up for the next, well, three months anyway, has just gone poof, just disappeared. And so it's a pretty strange time and uh, hard to, it's day to day, virtually, right? But not virtually, literally day to day, things are changing. And uh, so just trying to navigate it and see what we can figure out. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Ian, what about you, buddy? Uh, well, again, uh, it's hard to it's hard to go and play music uh, uh, during this time, but it's it's even worse to try to do some uh, recording. I've I've been trying to get in the studio and can't even go in the studio to uh, to do work. So tough, but we'll get through. It, it. is tough. You know, we will. I, just as a a bit of advice that everyone's probably giving is this whole social distancing and. Just uh, self-isolating. I think we'll get through this quicker and get back to normal. But uh, without getting in, into that any further, let's start with some music. Mike, can you play a song for us? Yeah, sure, sure, of course. Um, I uh, released an album uh, about a year ago. Uh, it's uh, in tw it was May of last year, and it's uh, currently nominated for the East Coast Music Award uh, 2020. East Coast Music Award for Blues Recording of the Year. Um, the ECMA conference, of course, was scuttled, like so many other things. Uh, we'll see. I think the awards are still <laughs> coming up, so I don't know. Maybe I'll get something in the mail if I get lucky. I don't know. But anyway, this is a song from that. It's a live album, and I've wanted to make a live album for many years. I grew up really loving the magic of live albums, the uh, extra little bits and pieces that you get from an artist or a band, you know, the bits of conversation and I find even the foibles and the errors that end up on a live album have kind of a charm, a magic to them. And as someone who makes lots of mistakes and foibles, you know, that really speaks to me. So <laughs> anyway, this is a song that was a new song that we put on, on the live album with the band. Uh, and this is called, uh, this is called all the same. I hope you like this. Yeah, yeah. 
say it's all my fault, yeah, yeah. I'm the one to blame. No, it ain't the truth. But it's all the same. All the same. Hey, gather all your girls around. Tell them you're a mess. That's the kind of party girl. Mike, thanks so much, man. Great song. Then we're going to take a short little break, and but we're coming back. Hope you stick around. Thanks so much. Hi, gang. Uh, welcome back to uh, Mercy Songwriters. I'm your host, Terry Whalen. So happy to be uh, here in my fabulous basement in Miramichi, uh, with uh, Mike Bigger and Ian McDonald in St. John, both of them, in uh, more luxurious accommodations, I think, than my own, it seems. <laughs> At least you have uh, paint on your walls. I have a bunch of concert posters and whatnot. But uh, anyway, I'm going to do a song for you. Uh, I'm working on a new album, actually. Uh, this, all of this is probably going to delay its release. But uh, it's basically Terry Whalen and Friends. I have a lot of incredible artists that I'm not going to mention right now, but uh, incredible artists are going to perform on it. And all the proceeds are going to go to the SPCA, the actual the local Miramichi SPCA. And uh, I'm really excited to release that. And one of the songs on that album is called What Would You Say? And I wrote this song with a friend of mine, John McDonald. And... Uh, he, it was based on an experience he had. He knew it was going really to be the last time he talked to his father before his father passed away. Uh, he was very sick, and uh, he was he had to go back to work in Ontario, and he knew that this would be his last conversation with his father. So this song is based on that. And maybe making you wonder, what would be the last thing you would say if you, you knew someone special to you is the last time you're going to be able to talk to them? So this song is called What Would You Say? And it goes like this. <laughs> What would you say if you only had one last chance to talk to the one who brought you into this world before they passed away? I said what I needed to say. What would you say? Before they passed away, what would you say before you had walk away? What would you say? What would you say? So even death. You've given me one last gift of music. The songs that need to be sung, the words that need to be shared. 
What would you say before they passed away? What would you say before you had to walk away? What would you say? What would you say? There's a way you can make a difference Make the world a better place In our final hour As life's energy diminishes You make the journey from this life to the next. I say what I needed to say. What could you say before you passed away? What would you say before they had to walk away? What could you say? What could you say? What could you say? Could you say? So the song kind of turns around at the end. I mean, first part of the song is what would you say to the person that's passing away before you had to leave but the, the end is what would you say before they had to leave before you passed away i mean it's uh it's kind of uh the song was written probably six months ago but it's pretty relevant right now with everything that's going on so anyway uh i know for me speaking personally uh this time you know being in my house a lot more it's given me a lot more time to reflect uh, I've done a lot of songwriting, actually, uh, even in the last two or three weeks since I've been isolated here in my house, and it certainly give me lots of content and uh, subject matter to, to think about. Uh, another song that I've just about done is uh, "Down or Road to Two. You know, uh, it's, you know, it's about reflecting on the roads I've been down, but also hopefully the roads I get to go down later on. Uh, that's all coming. Would you guys say the same thing, Michael? Uh, it's the same. How has it affected you as a songwriter, maybe, during this time? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, certainly, you know, uh, uh, there's, I mean, to the degree that you try to reflect uh, what's happening around yourself and in the greater world, um, I can only imagine the, uh, the myriad songs that are going to come out of something like this. And, you know, it's certainly having an effect on me, even as I play, even when I sit and play uh, cover songs, you know, and uh, other people's music and uh, people are looking for, I think, hope. And I think people are looking for comfort. And I think uh, sometimes people need to uh, sort of turn off the news and all of the, you know, it's just worse and worse and worse, it seems, uh, every time you look at the news. And so sometimes people need a little bit of a distraction as well. And I think that art and music can provide all of those things, sometimes all at the same time, even, you know. And so I hope that I'm able to bring some some of my songwriting uh, to that as well. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Ian, what about you? Jesus, I hope I get inspired. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a a dry spell on writing, so hopefully. Yeah, I mean. Uh, it I, I know one of the things, I mean, you, you say there's good things out of this, and there kind of is, as crazy as it sounds. You know, a lot of the musicians that we know, uh, you know, you get out around, and a lot of them are, you only see them, you know, at festivals in summertime. And so a lot of my, my friends and, and uh, artists that I'm really, uh, you know, interested in, maybe more than others, you get to see them do live shows on Facebook, like live Facebook shows. So, uh, you know, you get to tune in, you know, obviously you're not in a, an ideal setting with the perfect stage lighting and sound, but 
it's been really cool. I'm, uh, I'm kind of thinking I'd like to see some of this continue after we get through this crazy time. You know, seeing artists, you know, I've had to figure out how to do it, you know, because I never did it before. But just seeing so many artists uh, do stuff like that. Mike? I'll tell you, I'll tell you the thing that is, uh, you mentioned about not being the optimal setting, but one thing I do got to tell you that I love about playing here in the music room at home is it's pants optional, and you don't get that when you're on stage, so. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> don't pan Ian, what down! About you, buddy? Don't pan down! <laughs> Ian, what about you, buddy? <laughs> I can't even remember what the question was. Well, uh, I know. Well, I know. Even before you answer the question, you're on Facebook Live almost every day, performing. So yeah. this is kind of not a new thing for you, but it is for a lot of people. Yeah, and it's actually getting tougher to to get on. <laughs> so That's no, true. I've been I've been doing this for for a few years. So I kind of like like doing this. So I I just think it's 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 a great way for people to see you. <laughs> Almost like in a, your natural environment, if that sounds crazy. But uh, anyway, we're going to take a short little break. We're going to come back. Ian has a song for us and maybe a little bit more discussion before we finish up. But uh, it's obvious just looking at uh, this and the way we're presenting it, it's a whole different uh, environment and setting and feel. But anyway, we're going to take a little break. Hope you'll come back with us. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Miramichi Songwriters. I'm your host, Terry Whalen, and I'm in Miramichi, but uh, Mike Bigger is in St. John, and so is Ian McDonald. And uh, obviously, with everything going on with the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, you know, it's, it's caused, uh, forcing us to sort of be uh, isolated. Actually, it is forcing us to be isolated. So let's, uh, let's wrap up uh, this episode. Ian, if you could give us a song, please. Sure, there's a... There's a little tune uh, off my uh, new album, it's called Miserable. And all the 
fears I never thought I'd ever be alone Now my 32nd year I, I fight the tides I fight the fears I ask more more Thanks so much, man. Awesome, awesome. Oh, you're we welcome. just have a couple of minutes. We just have a couple of minutes before we wrap up. I know, and speaking for the other two guys, we're all on Facebook. We've all done some live Facebook events. You can tune in there, find us there uh, from time to time. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's a it's a strange time, but I, I really do think music can play a major role in helping us all get through this. Whether you're a performer or even just listening. It just gives us, and Mike uh, kind of alluded to what Mike said, allows us to get our mind off of the craziness and just focus on something else for a short time. So, you know, we can help in that role. You know, that's what we're here for. So uh, I, I know, like, uh, just if anyone wants to reach out uh, with any comments or anything, you can reach me at uh, terry.whalen at nbed.mb.ca. Mike, wh how can people reach you if they would like to reach out? Probably the easiest thing is uh, you can just go to mikebigger.com. That's uh, B-I-D-G-A-R, of course. But anyway, mikebigger.com, and you can reach, you can email me through there or find my social media stuff and all that, you know? Okay. Ian, what about you? Uh, I guess it would be uh, through uh, Facebook, uh, Ian McDonald Music. All right. We're going to do this again. Uh, I'm hoping that we can get back to our normal Miramichi songwriter format uh, very soon. I'm hoping this thing, you know, that we're in isn't uh, long lasting and hopefully we get through it. And uh, thank you all for watching. Mike, Ian, thanks so much for being here. Until next time, take care. Love you all. Be well. <laughs>